Hello everyone, welcome to You Can Do Cooking. I'm Mark and today I'm going to show you how to make cedar planked salmon. Very easy, um, very simple, and so let's get started. So basically what I do is I'm going to take um, roughly two tablespoons of olive oil and we're going to just kind of uh, a, a tablespoon at a time. We're going to go ahead and just pour it on here. And then just kind of get the top of the salmon, kind of rub it in a little bit to make sure you're getting it all over. And again, we're going to do two tablespoons, so I'm going to do another one. So like I said, just make sure we get it all over the salmon. And once you get that, then what we do is we'll take some dill weed and we'll go ahead and sprinkle this on there. Again, just use this to your liking. Um, I like dill weed, so I'm just going to kind of make sure the whole salmon's going to get a good coating of it. And then, Johnny's seafood seasoning, sprinkle that on there. And then I like to put a little lemon pepper on there. So we'll go ahead and sprinkle that. This kind of gives it a, a good taste, kind of mixed all together with all the seasonings. and It's a perfect blend. Um, you know, there's obviously other blends that you can do, but these are the three that I prefer, the lemon pepper, the Johnny's seafood seasoning, and the dill weed. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is, after you get all the seasoning on there, we're gonna go ahead and cut up the salmon into thirds. Um, so just simply cut it up like so. Um, Cause we're gonna put it on the plank. And so I like to make sure it's So once we have that, I'm going to grab the plank and bring it over here. And with the plank, you want to make sure that it's been soaking in water for roughly four hours because you don't want it to burn. So I'll just put the plank on here. So again, this has been soaking for four hours to make sure it doesn't burn on the barbecue. And so we'll bring it over here and then I'll just nicely the salmon on here. And then once you get that on there, what I like to do is cut up a lemon into small pieces like this, into little slivers. So what we'll do is just want to go ahead and Cut it up like so. All right, and the thing is, I already have some cut up over here. So I'm just gonna take it, and I just kinda like to, to layer these slivers on there. Again, this kinda gives it that, that tart taste. And so we just kinda do something like that. I got a couple left over, so I'll just kinda put those on there. And then once you get that all done, you're ready to stick it on the barbecue. And there you have it. I'll show you when we're done. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the barbecue. Um, right here I have two pounds of salmon, but you can go ahead and use as much as you like. So that's why I didn't say anything earlier, because you can use one slice, you can use two pounds, half a pound, whatever you want. So right now I have this, the cedar plank with me, and I also make sure to have some water. Um, right here I have a, a cup of water. Because just in case it starts to catch on fire, I want to be able to put it out fast because you don't want that getting on the salmon. So, let me go ahead and throw this on there. And there you have it. Um, I also have it on uh, medium heat. I don't have it on high, I don't have it on low, but I have it on medium heat. So, keep it on medium or lower just to make sure that the plank doesn't burn. Alrighty, I'll see you in a few when this is done and we'll see the finished product. 
Alrighty, so it's all done. As you can see here, um, basically I let it cook for a total time of 15 minutes. Um, after, you know, about 10 minutes or so, there's a couple flames that pop up. So I just, you can see I use very little water. And if the flame popped up, I just kind of pour it on the edge or wherever the flame popped up. And then, after about that 10 minutes, I turned it down to low and I just let it continue to cook. Um, the reason I turned it down to low is you can see start, some of the wood starting to, to blacken. And so, once the total time of 15 minutes was up, I went ahead and turned off the barbecue and just let it kind of cool down for a little bit. And now I'm ready to grab it and put it on the plate. And there you have it. Alrighty, so here's the finished product. I brought it inside because outside it's a little, you know, a little too dark to show you, but there you have it right there. So, you go ahead and take a bite of that. Excellent. That'll be good. Yum.